If you're a side sleeper and want tight curls, this five curler tutorial is for you. I'm going to start with this top back section of hair. Lift it high, give it a good brush, then spray it with some water so it's nice and damp but not super wet. I'm going to brush it one more time so it's nice and smooth. Now I'm putting the curler behind the hair and squishing a little as I wrap. That way I can get slightly tighter curls. This curler is wrapped differently than the other curlers because I'm going to fold it in half and make a little bun at the top of my head. Just like this. Open the net and pull it over once. I'm going to split the side of my hair into two big sections. Starting with the front piece, I'm going to do the basic process. Spray it with water, brush, then wrap my hair around the curler. I'm wrapping my curls away from my face and I'm squishing the foam as I wrap to create tighter curls. The way I'm wrapping this curler is how I will be wrapping the rest of my hair. This next part is important. When I get to the bottom, I hold my hair on the curler with one hand, then I open the net with the other. Once my hand is in the net, I grab the ends of my hair, then pull the net all the way over the top of the curler. Now I'm gonna take the other side of the elastic and pull it over the top of the curler for a second time so it's extra secure. The rest of the curlers are going to be wrapped like the curler we just did. Make sure each piece is slightly damp and brushed well before you begin wrapping. It's also important to make sure you take even amounts of hair and wrap them as tightly as the first curler we did to get consistent curls. Cozy curlers are a very versatile curler. So if you wrap a big section of hair around the curler loosely, you're going to get looser curls. If you wrap a smaller piece tightly around the curler, you'll get tighter curls. And if you wrap a big section tightly, you're still going to end up with slightly tighter curls than if you were to wrap them loosely. Okay, so here's what they look like down, but they aren't going to stay that way. This is my favorite hack for anyone who wants their curlers completely out of the way, and all you need is a scrunchie or two. Take the two front curlers, then put them next to the curler we wrapped in a bun. Put the scrunchie around the three curlers so it looks like this. You can use another scrunchie for the bottom two curlers, or you can tuck them into the top scrunchie like this. This is what my curlers looked like the next morning. It was seriously so comfortable to sleep in that I didn't even want to take it out. But you guys need to see the results. So after taking my scrunchie out, I started unrolling my curlers carefully. I like to unroll tight curls like this instead of yanking them out. It's more gentle on your hair and just look at that curl. I'm unrolling all of these curlers the same way because it is the easiest way to unroll tight curls and they come out really smooth. If you run into a piece that's wrapped a little tighter and not unrolling easily, stop and look at what's going on, then finish taking it out. Gotta do a quick bounce check. And on to the last curler. Now we're done unrolling, so it's time to separate these curls. Before I fluff my curls, I'm going to add a few drops of hair oil to my hands and run it through my hair. Most of the time when I do tight curls, I separate the curls piece by piece and fluff my roots and avoid fluffing the ends because it can turn out a little bit frizzy, but I know this is a common problem that's really easy to fix. See that frizz? No worries. I'm taking a few drops of hair oil to add to this piece in the front. It's already looking better, but I want the curl more defined, so I'm going to take a small piece of it and twirl it around my finger. This helps redirect the curl. You can take several small pieces for more defined ringlets or a big chunk of hair depending on what style you want. I wrap my curlers like this all the time and always wake up to amazing curls after a good night's sleep. I hope this tutorial helps you get the curls of your dreams while you sleep. Thanks for watching. Bye.